Alrighty, what's up guys? Today we are working on a 1100 STXDI. So I was on the lake. I was having fun and all of a sudden I got nothing. Like no power, no electronics, absolutely nothing. So let's take this off. I mean, I really didn't need to take that off, but so what we're going to do is take the motor out because in one second, I will show you why. Alrighty. So the reason why we're taking this girl out is because there's a stator down here. This wire, this wire harness goes all the way down into into here somehow it got sucked in so uh there's a little bit of something something down there so let's take this off and um get the motor out Alrighty, so i got the uh upper exhaust off I need to get the headers off i got this off uh so we're just gonna get the headers off <clears throat> Pull the header, pull the manifold out, and then get the um, mounts and engine mounts out, and if I can rip this thing out. Alrighty, so we got the motor on the table. We just pulled her out. So, <clears throat> as you can tell, this right here is not supposed to not supposed to be like that. So we're gonna take the stator cover off and i will show you uh what had happened well uh let me tell you what it's definitely not supposed to look like this like look at this holy cow I don't know how it sucked it. See, see, see what happened. It looks like it sucked itself. It wrapped and then just, just ripped it apart. That was, huh? <clears throat> That's loose too. That's weird. That just. Looks like it wants to come out. Still got its magnetic. There we go. Oh, she got hot, Briller. Look at that. She definitely got hot. Worked these loose. Pulled back a little bit. That's all she wrote. Looks like this is okay. This doesn't look too bad. It's probably hit it with a with a wire wheel and call it call it a day just want to make sure that's okay i want to make sure this bearing's okay clean all this up look at that dude that is just insane dude holy god Alrighty, so the parts came in i already put her on this is what the new one looks like and this is what the old one looks like I had it overnighted for us, so uh, hopefully we can get this video done and out. So, literally ordered this last night, and it literally just arrived. So, pretty dope. So, got this thing out. Later. And then, definitely putting thread, red, thread Loctite, red Loctite high strength just so these won't back out again. <clears throat> so 
I'm gonna torque these down. I still got a little ways to go. I'm gonna put some uh, red Loctite on, put them all in and uh, torque them down. Alrighty, as you can tell, I got everything back together. Just tightened down the stator cover, <clears throat> put the new gasket in. Uh, yeah, it's a little dark out. Uh, it took a while to set the the bolts in here. It looks like to be a bracket right here that I uh, didn't. That th there was nothing there. Um, so I just put uh, just a bolt there. But I'm going to tighten down all the bolts uh, to the cover and then leave it here for the night because this is already 11 or 12 and uh, tomorrow uh, we'll get the jet ski over here we'll pop this in the jet ski we'll start her up uh, check for leaks and uh, make sure yeah she starts up so uh, yeah that's uh, what the plans are we got uh, new sensors, new throttle position sensor, new uh, air intake sensor, um, yeah. new stator, had it overnighted to us, I uh, didn't even check if this will fit inside the, uh, inside the ECU, but it looks like the same connector to the other one, no, I think I threw it away already, um, that's the old one on the ground, um, but yeah, that looks to be the same, so. Yep, get that all together, get the engine all hooked up on her. And uh, yeah, I'll pop this baby back in there so we can hear her scream again. <clears throat> it's the best thing about the two strokes, they, they rev so high and they sound so good uh, revving up that high, so. Let's get it. <clears throat> Stay tuned. There's another video going to be coming out for this. It's a uh, 12F uh, 2004 Kawasaki. Um, I'm going to wait for the comments to see if you want me to go forged internals or just regular, uh, regular stock replacement uh, internals. So if I get one forged in the comment section, I'm going forged. So, you know, that's the number to beat is one. Uh, the, the crank is good. I still need to look at the cams. I, I didn't even look at the cams yet. Uh, but, yeah. So, let me get this all straightened out and, and uh, get this back in the jet ski. All right, guys. So, it's the following day. Uh, we got the stator put on, uh, <clears throat> put the, the brace on, tightened it all down. There's a new connector. I didn't even, I didn't even put it in yet. Which <laughs> probably should have cleaned out inside. <clears throat> make sure it's all, it's all good to go. So we're about to drop her in. I'll probably set the camera up for time lapse and uh, have this bad girl get in there, and then uh, we'll move on to the next project. So let's get this in there. Let's get it running, and then uh, we'll start the next video on. Alrighty, so we got the motor in, uh, as you saw in the time lapse, we just set her down, we got that all, <clears throat> the crank connected to the drive shaft, uh, plug this in, plug all, all the electrical in, put the exhaust on, and, uh, let's just start her up, you know, like, let's just start her up, alright put all that together Alrighty, guys so i got everything <clears throat> hooked up uh the motor's in all the electronics are hooked up Ooh, that kind of like shocked me a little bit okay let's give her a start let's make sure she starts up <clears throat> and uh let's see if we have any problem Let's give her a start. Oh. She starts up. First start. That's what I like to see. 
There we go. That's what I like to see. Might need to adjust the throttle. It looked seemed it seemed a little high, but other than that, this thing uh ready to be a stout unit and get her up on the water and make sure everything's good. We got a little bit of smoke coming out there. Alrighty. That'll be a wrap for today's video. So if you like what you saw, did the pull the motor out, pull the stator out, put new stator in slapped her in there she starts up just fine Alrighty, i'll see you guys in the next episode